Okay, in this tutorial we're going to create a jump and what I'm going to do is I've created a new choreography and opened up the wheel model and brought it into the new choreography. I'm also going to import the cube model and then I'm going to drag that down into my choreography also. I go 6 on my numpad and hit N and then move my cube back and then I'm going to hit S to scale it and just scale it taller about like this that okay so here we have the cube and the wheel model <coughs> now what I'm gonna have him do is I'm gonna have him start at the top here and jump down so let's go to the side view and while we're on frame zero in our timeline, click on the wheel model and then move him up to the top. And make sure his feet touch the ground. Right there. Okay. So at frame zero, I'm going to have him right here. Let's just go to frame five. Frame five, I'm going to have him here too. So just push up down on your keyboard. Um, that's going to be where he crouches down. And then frame 10, I'm going to have him um, just taking off. So I'm going to do it one more time, up, down. And then at frame 15, I'm going to have him in midair. So about right here. That's probably good. And then I'm going to go to frame 20 and put him all the way to the bit the bottom here. And I'm just going to put zero in the Y and that way he's right back to where he was. So now I have him just moving like this. Now <coughs> the first thing you'll notice is that between frame zero and five um, between frame zero and five he kind of moves up and or five to ten he kind of moves up and down. If I go to my graph editor you'll see how um, he moves a little bit here. So what I want to do <coughs> excuse me, is select these splines in the shortcut to will. Um, if I select the shortcut to will, you'll see the splines show up in the translate. Uh, rotate and scale don't have anything, but translate does. I'm going to select these splines here, right click on them, interpolation method, and say hold. Okay, so now he won't move through the floor and he'll just jump off and come back down. <coughs> so that's mainly how you do that, uh, how you get him in position correctly. Um, now remember, it, for this, this jump assignment, um, I just want you to do something that is different than what I'm doing here. Use the same principles, the sa same keyframes. In the jump animation, <coughs> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into skeletal animation mode. So in my choreography under shortcut to will, I'm going to, in actions, there's one that says choreography action. I'm going to right click, say rename, and say model bone animation. So that I, way I know in that action all I have is the model bone moving. I'm going to click on action, say new choreography action, and then rename that one skeletal animation. Okay. <coughs> so once I get the skeletal animation uh, made right there, there'll be a check mark in it. That means anything I animate from now on will be in that uh, in that action. So if I click on the wheel model and I click the bone, click into uh, skeletal mode, you'll notice here at the top he's just standing in his normal position. So let's go to frame zero and let's pose him in a good position here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of turn him sideways a little bit. So I'm going to hit R to rotate this. Turn sideways as if he's going to lunge off <coughs> this platform. Let's go into wireframe mode here just so we can see. Um, I'm going to hit N, move his foot back, rotate it around here, and this one, oops, I'm going to pull it forward a bit and rotate it this way too. Now this back leg what I'm going to have him do is I'm going to have him crouch down. So I'm just going to grab this bone and crouch down like this. 
Okay. Now this back leg here, I want it to to be holding a lot of the weight, so I'm going to make sure that he's kind of leaning back on this back foot. But I want to put that foot underneath my cent his center of gravity, so I can either move his foot or I can just move his hips over the top. Let's put his hips back like that, because I like the way this leg is out. And let's just take this foot, hit N to, to go into manipulator mode, and just position it back this way, like he's holding himself, like he's kind of crouching, like that. Okay. So that does it for the feet. So now let's go and do the rest of the upper body. Yeah, it looks like I've got a little bit of the model missing. So I'm going to go back in the model here, and I think I know what it is. My side view. Yep, I got a few pieces missing, so I'm just going to select those, hit save. Okay, so go back to my choreography, now it's fixed. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to get him crouched. Or, I mean, it uh, looks like he's, look like he's going to get ready to jump. Okay, so I'm going to take his hands here. Pull him down. Oops, that's his elbow. Back into wireframe mode here, it's a bit faster. Okay, and then I'm going to start posing his upper body. I'm going to have him kind of crunch over a bit like this. And then bring his neck up a bit. And his head. Oh, it looks like his control head's missing. I think I hit it. Let's go back in here. Body, back, back, neck, head. Yep, okay, there we go. So now, grab this control head here and rotate it back so he's looking up. And let's turn it a little bit here. Okay, bring his arm out like this. And this arm forward a bit more. Bend it a little bit here. Pull this knee out just a little bit. Roll it out just a little bit. Okay, so I like this position. If I look at my animation, That'll make a good silhouette for a starting point. Okay. So now, with with all the bones the way that they that they are, let's hit force keyframe. Make sure they're all set. Let's go into keyframe mode. Just hit bones, and I can see I've keyed pretty much everything. Um, let's just make sure I didn't do toes or. Oops, I didn't want the model bone there. I'll just delete it out. Okay, the heel, do that. So the heel and the toes. Did the knees, I did, didn't do the pelvis, so let's just do that. Uh, I did the hands, elbows, back, do shoulders too. Um, in this position, I think his shoulders, he'd be kind of lifting his shoulders up just slightly. So let's do that in anticipation. Okay, and then we got his neck and his control head. Okay, so I think we're where we want to be. Okay, let's go to wireframe mode here. Okay, so we got him on top of the <coughs> the uh, cube here. So now what we want to do is see how he's, the model bone is moving. Okay, so at this keyframe, we want him right here. At this keyframe, we want him to rear back like he's going to, uh, like he's going to build up his energy. So let's rock him back at, at five. 
have him go back on his leg here. Maybe have him sit up a little more straight. And then have his head still looking towards his target. And his hands. Let's get him to wind up here. So he's really going to twist a little bit here. mouse is kind of dirty so it's not working right but let's see okay so this hand is going to come way back here behind him like he's going to wind up and this one let's have it go across his body like this side view it looks like his balance is off just slightly so we're going to want to pull him back a little further so he's right over his leg but then put his torso a little bit forward so now he moves back and then he'll jump okay almost fall over. Okay. I like to go back to my camera view by hitting one on the numpad and then tumble out of that. It gives me a perspective view. It's a little better. Okay, so. Come back. Let's go to frame five. Hit force keyframe. Key everything there. Go to at frame five. Hit copy, and then go to frame ten and hit paste. So he rocks back to ten. Okay, and then we might in the model bone animation. What we might need to do is move these out a little bit more. That's okay. Let's uh, in our skeletal animation. Under bones. So we have him rock back, and then right here is where we want him to take off. So this is his jumping or his launching. Let's have him go off this foot, so keep that foot right there planted. And then let's move his body, go into side view mode. Up like this, like he's going to jump like that. Okay, and let's turn him a little bit. Grab this foot back here. Bring it up like this, rotate it around a bit. Take his knee and rotate that in put his foot, let's roll it up a bit, roll his toe up. And then this one, this bottom foot, we want to roll the heel up so it looks like he's taken off with his toe, so it looks like he's a little high. So we'll drop his hips down just a little bit until he's just extended there. Okay. Pull him out here. Grab his foot here. Oh! Okay, move his foot over here. 
and his knee rotated out just a little bit here. And what we want to do is we want to have him reaching, so we want to have him actually turning more, oops, I flipped him around too far. There we go, we want to have him turning this way, the next one up, turn it this way, a little bit like this, and then his neck, turn that back, and head, turn that back, and looking up where he's going to jump, okay, so let's make sure his torso is turned, pull his shoulders uh, this one will be reaching, so let's grab this hand. Pull it up this way. Has his elbow down. Have his hand. Rotate it up like this. And this one. Kind of up too. his shoulder a bit, raise this one up a little bit, like he's reaching, rocks back, and then right here, <coughs> pull this elbow out a bit here. Hit force keyframe. Okay, so then at frame 15, he's going to be at the middle of his jump. Whoops, where is he? There he is. Okay, so let's. Grab his foot, roll his heel back, rotate him around so he's pointing straight forward. And do the same with his feet. hips forward a little bit, have him kind of straight back this way and this way. I'm just straightening out his his neck or his uh, neck and head. Rotate his head up this way. And tilt his head down a bit. And this will be right here. And this one kind of the same. Let's kind of get into 
it put, get it into position. Elbow. Kind of a relax in his shoulders. This is his midpoint, so he's gonna jump off. Whoa. Okay, let's hit force keyframe, force keyframe on all those, and go to frame 20. <coughs> 20 is where he meets the ground. So, let's go to our side view, zoom in on him here, grab his feet, just drag them to the floor, and in our properties in the rotation, just uh, type in 0, 0, 0. Zero, 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 and translate Y, zero. Okay, now his toes, we can do the same thing, rotate, zero, zero, zero. And his heels, same thing, zero. Heel here, zero, and, okay, and then his control toes. Zero, 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 okay. All right, so now his feet are flat on the ground, but we wanna bring his hips down as if he's just caught himself and have him crouch over, so bend him over a bunch. Really crunch him down here. But let's have him actually looking forward like this. Okay, and now his hands. Pull these down. one where he just stands up. So let's just stand him up. Oop, before we do that, go to frame 20 and hit force keyframe. Okay. Now go to frame 25 and just stand him up. Now what I want to do is put him in a little bit of a contrapposto position. So I'm going to tilt his hips like this because he's putting his weight mostly on this foot right here. So then I'm going to tilt his shoulders the opposite. I'm going to start this way and then back like this. Straighten his neck out, straighten his head out. And then grab his hands. 
bring them back up. Now if we watch this whole thing, I'm going to actually hide these lights so I can see. There. Hide the camera too. Okay. Okay. So there's our major keyframes. There's only a couple that we're missing here. <coughs> We're missing the one where he goes from here, from frame five, to his crouching position before he takes off right here. He needs to be crouching. We're missing the middle, the in-between right here, where he should be stretched out as far as he can go. And then middle, he's fine. And then we need to stretch right here. And then right before he hits, we need to put in the keyframe right here. So at frame 20, he's right here. Um, at frame 19, we need to make it so he's looking at his target and he's like this and his feet are stretched down, reaching for the ground like this and his hands are up like this. Okay. So we need and that's almost same thing right here, where it's reaching for the ground. And then we need the crouch right here where he's crouching. It's hard to draw with the mouse. Um, so that we get this nice arc. Okay, so let's go in and do that. First, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to go to the model bone animation and I'm going to squish everything down. I'm going to go take this one and go to frame uh, three or two, two, this one to frame four, this one to frame six, and this one to frame eight. And then I'm going to go to skeletal animation. Oops, go to here. Force a keyframe on everything. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just the bones, I'm going to grab this and go to two. Four, six, eight, and ten. So now you can see a little bit better what it's going to look like. So now we can put the in-betweens in that we need, okay? <coughs> in between each one of these. So in this one right here, I'm going to go to him, go into skeletal mode, make sure I'm in skeletal animation, okay? At this one right here, we have him rear back, which is fine. Okay, like that. But in between this one and this one, we right here we need him to crouch. I'm going to bring his foot back down. Turn the take the rotations down. Let's see, zero and zero, and then X and Z rotation zero and zero. And lift his heel up. Actually, I'll put it all the way down. Don't worry about it. Okay, so now he's getting ready to take off. Well, let's grab his body bone and crouch him down here. Okay. hands up. He's going to be making a fist. Grab this hand, put it up here, let's make a his arms in place. He's going to have his shoulders up. Like 
this. Go forward. Okay. Let's get this hand up this way. And let's take his neck, move it down a little bit, and move his head back up. Let's force a key for him. Oops, didn't want the cube there. Let's force a key for him there. So now we've got, he sits there, rocks back to his position, crouches, takes off. Now we need the mid-air pose. Okay, in mid-air, he's going to be stretched out. So let's stretch his legs all the way out here, put his heel back down, his foot. Make sure that he's leaving his foot. He took off from right here, so we want his feet to be like that too. So let's grab this foot. Oops. Down, rotate his toe. Always be rotating your your model to see what it looks like in 3D space. If you just do it from one axis, yeah, it may look great like this, but you're you're missing a lot of information. Let's turn his body more this way. Rotate him in his knees. Okay. Let's put his hands way up in the air. Shoulders are going to come up. Elbows roll down. Let's have his head looking up. Okay, force keyframe. So now we've got take or crouching stance, crouching, taking off, midair. Here now we need this one where he's stretching for the ground. <coughs> so I'm gonna lift his body back up here. See where he came from. Yeah, so let's make sure his direction is kind of going that, that way. Take his foot and just rotate it down. His toe like he's stretching for it. This one too. Let's do kind of a midway He'd be kind of leaning back while looking down. His hands would kind of be at his kind of like 
like this. Shoulders would definitely be up because he's falling. You don't want to twin, twin his hands, so you don't want to make them both doing the exact same thing. So let's just put his arm like that. So this is mid jump. Looks like what we're going to need to do is add one more keyframe in here. So let's grab, just minimize the bones, this one right here and just move it out one. Okay, so we got one in between. Because what we need to do here is we need to have his feet touching the ground, him reaching for it. So at this frame, let's make sure we've gone back to this one and hit force keyframe. Go to this frame here and then, oops, didn't want to do that. Okay, I'm gonna grab this and put it on the ground and zero out its rotation. Okay. And this one too. And just pull it down. Let's see what the next one looks like. Right there. So I want to pull it out just a little further. And this one I want to move back just slightly. A little less. There we go. There we go. So now his feet are positioned correctly so that they'll stay in place. So in this one, I want to roll the feet back and the toes up because he's still up in the air. This is him reaching for the ground. So I'm going to grab his body bone and stretch him out all the way. This one's stretching out too. Bring him to about here. And then I want to do the same thing with his back that I did on the previous frame. Basically, I'll go like this. Go back to the previous frame. And then from this bone up, I'm just going to say, I go to chain and I'm going to go copy. And then I'm going to go to the next one. And I'm going to, while chain is selected, I'm going to go paste. And that automatically did everything that I already had done up that chain. Like that. So now I just want to straighten his neck a bit, straighten his head. Okay, and then his hands are going to be kind of up above his head, almost like he's lifting a barbell. I just want to put his hands up like this, flip his elbows around, like this. Like this. And I'm going to select single bone, copy this hand, and then select this one and hit edit paste mirrored. Yeah, it didn't work. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I just deal with it.
Okay, so now I don't want to twin these hands, so I'm going to bring one down a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to click bones, and then I'm going to select all of these and just slide them back one. I just did that so that one frame is, each frame is my um, extreme. So if I hit the plus key, go to this extreme, this extreme, this extreme, this extreme, this extreme, this extreme. Now the problem is my model bone, I need one more, let's go to my model bone animation. I need this one here. Let's go to choreography mode. I can just do it that way. Okay, I can copy this keyframe, paste it here, paste it here. This one, this one I actually don't want, so I'm going to delete the keyframe. Look at the graph on it. <coughs> Looks like we got a hold. I'm going to select everything and say interpolation method default. There we go. There, that's much better. Okay, so he holds, and then that's his middle. He hits the top, and then he goes back down. Perfect. Okay, so now you can see each keyframe. Here, 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 here. Now if I go back and I look, what I did is I set this keyframe. Uh, let's see here, model bone animation. I actually wanted to take these. Take these and just slide them back. So this is the peak of his jump. So I want that one to be right in here. There we go. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually going to keyframe this. I'm just going to say force keyframe and the next one force keyframe. And what I can do is I can just select these two keyframes and move them up just slightly so I get more of an arc in his movement. Give it a little more, give him a little more hang time if you will. So then once you get this done, once you get this part done, um, I'm going to force a keyframe here too, and then force a keyframe here. Okay. So once you get these keyframes done, what you, what you can do is you can start going doing your timing. So you go into this... Uh, you hit your actions and you can see I've got my model bone and my bones, they all, it all has the same thing. Um, so what I can do now is I can just say like this, I can start doing my timing. I can say um, I want the jump, I want all of these. Let me do this actually. I'm just going to click this. And I can start moving them. wherever I want to. So I'm actually just going to select this and shift select this and start moving it out. I'll go to frame 5. Okay. And then I'll see. Okay, I have him cocked back. And then what I want him to do is hold. So I'm going to select these and these. Move them back a bit. Just go to 10. So I want him to hold this pose here. I want him to go pretty quick. So five frames back. So go back and then hold that pose. So 
I'm just going to go to right here, say copy that keyframe, paste it 6. And then do the same thing with skeletal animation. Go to frame 5, copy, 6, paste. So copy that, paste. Arr. Go to 5. Oh, got to have the whole skeleton on. Copy, go to frame 6, paste. Okay. So now I've got I've got this and I'm just going to grab this shift click those two move them down and then you can see how it goes back and holds it. Move this to 15. Back holds it. And then between here and here I want it pretty quick. I don't want a long wait. So I'm going to just grab these knees and put it up to frame 12. Whew. So he cocks back and then he takes off really fast. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the properties panel here just so we've got more room. Okay, so now I want to take these and drag them back. This is from taking off to this pose. I want that to be really quick, so I'm only going to go two frames like that. But I want him from here to here. I want about two frames, so I'm going to select these. Now let's make it three. Yeah, let's do three, and then let's do three more. three more to the top of his jump. And then from here to here, I want it to still be pretty, you know, pretty decent. So we'll go three more frames. And then from here to here, I want him to speed up a little bit. So I'm going to do two frames. Here, so speed up. And then from here to here, I want that pretty much instantaneous. But then I want him to stand up a little bit slower, so I'm going to go about there. Whew. Okay, so now what I've got is uh, this last frame. What I want to do is I want to go to my skeletal animation. So I'm just going to click skeletal animation here. And I want to copy that frame and then go about five frames more and paste it. Okay, let's do a little bit less. Let's grab it, go back to th about three. His feet kind of jump off the ground there. No, let's let's go. Let's go a little longer. Thirty-five, maybe. But let's check his body bone to make sure it's not going up too high. So let's go control body and go to graph mode and. Let's look at him here. Transform, translate Y. You can see how it's going up pretty high here. So what I actually want to do, I'm going to turn on bias handles. Grab this bias and I'm just going to scoot it down a little bit. Like that. Actually what I'm going to do is move it up a bit. Then I'm going to grab a keyframe and put a keyframe in here. there's a little bit of resolution there. Okay, so I have my jump animation. So let's play it. Let's play it real time and see what happens. Let's actually animate the camera really quick. I'm going to save it as under class materials. Fees. Will cube jump. Okay. So I've got my whole animation done here. There's little things like his feet going through the floor and stuff that you can fix um, just by setting new keyframes. I'll show you how to do that here in a second. But we've got the main part of his jump. 
Looks like I want, I'm playing it at real, at real time here. Looks like what I want is I want him to actually cock back a little, a little longer. So I'm going to go to skeletal animation. And this to this, I actually want to just move this out a couple frames, Let's say two frames. So I want to move everything else down two frames. One, two. So now if I hit actions, I can match this up. So if I go there and then there. Okay. <coughs> so now let's go to camera camera view and uh, let's move our camera. I'm actually going to move it up a bit so we can see his feet. Okay, oops, that's at frame 12. Make sure I go to my camera. Let's copy that and paste it at frame 0 and then delete this frame. Okay, so I see him cocked back, but I don't see a very good silhouette. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring the camera over here, turn it around. This is a much better silhouette that I can see him with. So, right here, right about here is where he takes off. I want to set a keyframe, and then right about here, set another keyframe so it follows him through, and then you see him land here, okay? Now remember where to place him in your view. Should probably be this because I want to I want to him to lead. And then at frame 36, I'm gonna just set another keyframe that'll give me kind of a like I was following him. Oh, he stopped? Okay, I'll go back to him. Frame 36. I'll just frame him here. And then I'll copy that and paste it at 45. That'll just give me a little resolution on the camera movement. So it takes off. Now th this is very, very basic. There's all kinds of things that I could do to, to uh, improve this animation. Doing hand, the hand stuff, so I could go in here and I could say, um, new choreography action and call it hands and then I could in here uh, what I would do is I would say uh, user properties hand actions hand shapes uh, at the beginning here I want them open so I'm gonna open them up just leave them normal okay and then going on right here, I want him to be into a fist. And then right here, I want him fist for a while. About the top of his jump. I'm going to open him up. Right here, I still want him to be fists. So open him up. Have them open, and when he hits the ground, so have them eh, kind of open here, and when he hits the ground like this, I want him to really flare out, and then come back to normal. Okay, so now let's look at our camera view here. Whew. And like I said, this is a very quick and dirty tutorial, so there's a lot of problems with it, but uh, just so that you see the major keyframes and how to get your timing out. Uh, that's great. Like right here, I could, I'd need to fix his arm. But uh, anyways, 
So that is it. So I'm just gonna save that and I'm gonna render it out and uh, <coughs> make a quick time of it. So that's the jump tutorial, but as you can see, um, I put in the main keyframes one after another, so all the keys, and then I timed it out the way I wanted it to go, and then I uh, and then I put the in betweens in, and then finished time finished all the little things. So you just work from big to small, and it'll work for you. So there you go. There's the jump tutorial.